Hi future UI UX designers, in this video I'll show you how to create mockup in Figma. I have this screenshot from Facebook mobile app and we will repeat its design. For a better learning experience, I recommend you to repeat all the steps that will be shown in this video. Let's open Figma and get right down to business. Let's walk through the process and discuss the steps. The screenshot is visible on the left in the layers panel, labeled as screen 1. At the top there is a toolbar and on the right you'll find the properties panel. Within this panel we can fine-tune our layer, whether it's resizing, rounding corners, adjusting colors, adding strokes, applying effects or exporting. To begin with, let's create a frame, roughly speaking, this is our sheet of paper on which we will draw. On the right, select the iPhone 14, 15 Pro Max preset. The layout for the iPhone design has been created. Now we reduce the screenshots so, so that is the same size as our frame. Press the shifter, take the screenshot by the bottom edge and align it relative to the frame. To start we will create buttons and then we will add text. Take the frame tool and draw a rectangle like this. Next choose a color for the rectangle, let's make it black. Take the frame tool and draw another rectangle. Adjust the fill settings and change the color to gray. Now let's create a button. We take the frame tool, click and create a rectangle button as in the example with Facebook. Again set up the fill, take the eyedropper and copy the blue color. Now we need to round the corners. Click on the frame and select corner radius on the right and change it to 10. Now align the frame in the center. To do this, click here in the right menu. This is horizontal alignment. Now let's add elements under the button. Take the frame and draw a rectangle. Go to the fill settings and copy the color from the example. Round the corners. Click on the frame on the right and set the corner radius to 25. We will add the next elements after we write the text. Now we need to separate the blocks. To do this, go to the rectangle tool and select a line. To make the line horizontal, hold down the shift key and create it. The color is gray. The thickness is set to 5. By holding down the shift key, we can move our line strictly horizontally or vertically and position it as we like. We can also move our objects by one pixel by holding down the page up, page down, page right, page left buttons. Now we copy this line to create a second line by holding down Shift plus Alt and dragging the line down. Add another three lines here. Now let's add a gray background like the one in the screenshot. In the top panel select the rectangle tool. Draw it. Change the color to gray as in the original. Again go to the tool but now select the ellipse. Holding down the Shift key we make an even circle. The size will be 50 pixels. Also in the originals. We have here the following elements to make them from the top. Hold down the Shift plus Alt and drag down. But our element is not visible because it is behind the rectangle. On the left side of the layers panel we need to place our element above the background. We can see that in the bottom panel we have a dividing line so let's copy the top line and move it down. Let's add some text and icons. Let's start with the button. Select the text tool, click on the button and write. On the right we can select the font. Let's choose Mont. Make the thickness semi bold and the size 18. Align the text in the center of the button. Click center, center here and align it horizontally and vertically. Now let's fill in these buttons using the text tool again or we can click on T and write Reels. Make the size smaller and align it to the center. Add the text featured size 18, thickness bold. When we move the text, we see lines that indicate the distance between the objects and the edges. Our distance is 22 pixels on both sides, which means that our text is centered. Let's add the following icon. Take an ellipse and draw a circle. Remove the fill by clicking on. Make a stroke and change the color to gray. Add the letter I in the center using the text tool. The color is the same as the stroke of the circle. In general, when a company orders an app design, we don't need to make icons. They will provide us with them, as each company has a separate designer for this. I'm showing this just for example. Let's add an icon with an arrow. Go to Components, Plugins, Iconify and write Arrow. Choose the arrow that suits us. Add the arrow to our project and resize it by holding shift and change the color to gray. Add another text, write something opposite the avatar 
thickness regular, size 16. Add text to the buttons, semi bold thickness, size 16 pixels, everything is as before. Let's change the color of the buttons to white and add a gray outline. Outside, padding 5%. Now we add icons through Iconify. Video, photo, smile. Change the color of the icons to pink, green and yellow. Transfer the icons to the buttons and adjust the size and distance. Now let's make the top part. Write the title UI UX Designer and Developers. The thickness is bold. The size is 24 pixels. Add the planet icon. We adjust the size. The color is dark gray like this arrow. Write the following text. Public group. Size 14. Semi bold. Fill as a planet icon. Align the text. Write the following text. 622k members. The next text is group by Rajava lead. Align it. 20 pixels. Add an arrow by copying it below. The color is black. We make a burger. Tools line. Draw a line. 3 pixels thick. And copy the lines below to make a burger. Add the layout for the avatar. Make a frame. Color black. Round the corners by 5. Write the text UI UX designers and... Let's make a magnifying glass icon. Take a line. Hold down the crosser and move it to the side. The thickness is 2 pixels. Draw an ellipse. Remove the fill and add a 2 pixel stroke. Create the bottom menu. Go to the iPhone and look for the Home, Video, Shop, Profile, Notification, Menu icons. We adjust the icons in size and align them relative to each other in distance. Make the first icon blue and all the others gray. Add the text Home, Video, Shop, Profile, Notification, Menu, Size 14. The Home text is blue, all others are gray. And I will add another line that will show that this tab is selected. Thickness 3, Color blue. And at the end we will add our photo. One here and the other here on top. Done. Now you know how to create similar mockups. And if you want to practice some more, check out the videos from this playlist on my channel.